Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. This is Saba. Welcome to Design Era. So today I came up with a step by step process video of a beautiful vector landscape illustration that I created in Adobe Illustrator. If you are interested in seeing the process videos of such illustrations then please do consider subscribing to my channel. So without any further delay, let's go. So first let's create a rectangle like this and then here I am giving the name to this layer as background. Now remove the outer stroke. Time to add some color gradient to the background. Let's choose this one. Here's the gradient tool, just playing around a little to get the stable colors I want. Well right now, giving colors just to get some ideas and vibe, later on, we'll change the colors accordingly if needed. Here I changed the gradient mode from linear to the radial one. Yep, it looks good. So now let's create in another layer. Aha, and here comes my favorite tool, which is pen tool. Let's first start with making a cliff. Cliff is done. Now I am going to create a fluctuating bridge here so that our illustration will look more fascinating. Again using pen tool here. This tool is very helpful and yes sometimes handling it can be difficult especially for beginners but yeah with practice you can also create such illustrations. After the completion of the bridge, select all the parts and group them together. I think the cliff is a bit high and it's needed to be lowering down a little. Yep, it's perfect. I am now choosing an another layer. Whenever you start working on the new layer, name it accordingly and don't forget to lock the previous layers. So I am trying to create a land which is far away. Well, going to change the background color again, hmm, it happens. You have to change the color several times while making illustrations, especially when you're not using any pre-downloaded color palettes. I usually choose colors like this, having knowledge about colors like what are primary, secondary, tertiary, complementary, analogous colors can help you with this. Now let's create a sun, make a circle and then by direct selection tool select the lower point and delete. I want this semicircle to be behind that fall line, so select it, then right click, go to arrange and then send to back. Done.
In starting, whenever I start creating an illustration, I always feel like, what's going on? <laughs> I just keep putting my imaginations and ideas, but yeah, slowly, slowly, as I put different elements like cliff, the bridge, and now sun, so I start getting more clear ideas about how the illustration will be going to look like. I wanna add some blur here, so select this shape, go to object, choose blur option, then Gaussian blur, move the slider forward and it's done. Now reduce its opacity too. Now send it to the back of our sun, right click, go to arrange and then send to back. Cool. Do the same with this small semicircle also to make it blur. Mm, I think the background still needs some modification. So I'm thinking of going with a mix of some blue and orange. Whenever you move that slider, don't forget to press shift key to make it move straighter. Just adjusting it a little bit, I want to make the lower part more darker. Yeah, I think it's quite good. Okay, yeah, so here are the results. Now I'm adding some radial gradient here. So the area closer to sun would be more brighter like this. Slowly slowly it will convert into red and fade away. These are very obvious observations that we see in nature. Now I think since the background color is changed so the color of the cliff is needed to be changed too. Yep, done. Mm, let's create some trees to make our illustration look more adorable. First, keep it aside. So with the help of pen tool again, I'm creating a tree. Our tree is ready guys. Make sure to group all the parts together. Select all and then right click and group. Shortcut key for this is Ctrl plus G. Let's put this tree here. Cool. As you can see some parts of the tree is out of our board. So to remove the small parts that go outside the artboard, just simply select the shape builder tool and while pressing alt key click or drag your mouse on the part you want to remove. I want to add more trees here. Just simply make a copy of this tree by pressing Alt. 
I give that smaller tree a color that's matching with the background and then reduce its opacity to create the effect of depth. Let's create some stones here. I think they look pretty good. Now, the most interesting part. Time to create a character to bring life to this illustration. So let's quickly select a new layer and let's give it a name. Well, I'm trying to create a character that will give the vibe of a warrior. Here, I'm using pen tool again to create this. Cool. So it's done guys. Now select all the parts, go to Windows, Pathfinder and then Unite. Done. Let's put it here like this. Now let's create the reflection of trees in water. Select the trees, then right click. Go to transform and then reflect. Alright, now choose horizontal. Now press copy. Keep in mind that you want to get an inverted reflection of trees. So press copy. Don't press ok otherwise it will invert the trees itself. But we want inverted copies. Ok? Now reduce their opacity a little. Now time to create some highlights. To create highlights, what I do is to make a copy of the character while pressing Alt and then shift it a little bit to the left side. Now I am going to give a yellow color to it. Select the front yellow figure, then right click, go to arrange and send to back. Here I am adding some highlights to water too. To add highlights to trees and stones, we'll do the same procedure, so follow on. So yeah, it's done. Now, to make our water look more realistic, I will add some more highlights. Now using pen tool here, I am creating some sun rays. To create sun rays, all you have to do is first create the rays here. I already choose the white fill, then select them and reduce their opacity. Perfect. Let's add some grass here. So here it is. I hope guys you like this illustration process video. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and find it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel. I would love to have your feedbacks too. If you have any questions, then feel free to mention in the comment section below or you can DM me your questions on my Instagram too. The link is in the description. And if you like, follow me on Instagram too. So, this is all for today. Soon we'll come again with an amazing video. Till then, stay connected. Take care. Bye bye.